Hi folks, what I want to talk to you today about is how to add multiple EPS files into a single design on Pinoco. Uh, now we've seen a few emails and comments on the forums come through asking how to combine shipping and combining multiple EPS files into a single design on Pinoco is one way that you can do so. So the first thing we'll do is we'll log in once we've entered in all our details, we just need to click let me in. And then once we're logged in, we just need to click on add in the top red navigation bar. And this takes us to the add section of my Pinoco. From here, we want to add a new design. And this brings up the file upload page or the design upload page of my Pinoco. And we'll add an EPS file, browsing for it on our computer and we'll add that EPS file. Now this will take a moment to upload depending on the size of the file. But once it does, you'll see two buttons here. Now the first is add another EPS file. So this is how we add multiple EPS files to a single design. So we'll click on that and we're presented with the file upload dialog again. And we'll go through and we'll select another EPS file and we'll add this. And again, this will take a minute depending on how big the file is. But once it's done, we can see here a list of our different EPS files that we're uploading. Now we can repeat this process as much as we like or as many times as is required for our design. And when we've finished, we just need to click on done. So we'll add some materials to our two design files there. And let's choose MDF natural, and we'll go for the thickest one we can, and the largest sheet size, and we'll add this material. Now you see on subsequent design files, so you have a choice between adding the exact same material to that design, or choosing a different one. So we'll choose a different material for the second design file, and we'll go for a plastic. Maybe the fluoro green acrylic, at three millimeters, for the medium size add this material. So once we've added all our materials we just need to click on done and this presents us with a page that lists our different EPS files that make up our design and we can go through and edit those and replace them if we make updates or improvements. It will also list our different materials, uh, material sets that we have for our design. If we click on show details it will show us all the details for that material, including the cost to cut and the cost to source. Um, we'll hide those details and the next four options here are the four things that we can do with the design file once we've uploaded it successfully to uh, Pinoco. So we'll go through and we'll make our design. And you'll notice on the first page of the make screen is these boxes contain the details of your design files. So it includes obviously the design file name, the material that you wish to cut it out of, and all the different details of that material, including the cutting cost and the material cost. However, if we look to the right in the cost summary, we will see that the cutting cost and the material cost have been combined for both of the different design files. So we just need to go through the rest of the make process, and this is how we can combine shipping for different designs. Uh, now it was a really great question and we, we don't get to hear about these unless you participate on the forums. So please come on over if you have any questions or anything that we can help you with and it's simply just forums.pinoco.com.